guys have probably been uh, wondering what is the deal with this secret S14 that I've been keeping from you guys. So I've actually owned this car for, it's probably been about two months. So I, it's uh, it's been kind of this big random mess of things that has kind of turned into this. Uh, but if you guys know, I talked about it a long time ago with doing something with the S13 and doing a quick little build and you know, some, I don't know. You, you guys go ahead and guess and let me know what you think I'm gonna be doing with this car. So I was out here shooting a, a little promo thing today, kind of to shoot off to some companies, see if they would like to work with me on this uh, little build. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll show you guys a little bit more about it when we get uh, back to the shop. It does have a Garrett GTX gonna ship some stickers. If you guys want some Motion Auto TV stickers, get on MotionAutoTV.BigCartel.com. Um, everybody, th that is Baby Carson, spelled with a K and an A and an R and an S and a Y and an N. And that is a baby girl, like a week old right now. Actually, no, older than a week. Ten days. Ten days. Ten days old. Oh, ten. Hey, how we are at the shop today. Um, I don't know how much video I got of, of this thing, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. I bought a weed eater and I buzzed a bunch of stuff outside to make it look all pretty. Um, David, we're on week three of, uh, of the VR4 project and it is hopefully gonna be out here tomorrow, but it hasn't even started yet, so he just got uh, it was supposed to be, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna have it in here for the weekend. And then it turned into one of those, you know, what it always turns into, the the week projects. And he just ran into a bunch of stuff. But here's the, the rod knocking one. He's got the good one in there. Now he's just playing with exhaust. He ended up having, or he's swapping, he swapped the dashes because the, the other one was all crusty and stuff. Uh, had to swap the fuel tanks because the other one was just like insanely dirty. So that's all good to go. So. Right now he is just deleting the catalytic converter because the front one has already been gutted and he wants to make sure they're nice and even. And uh, I'm gonna mess with this thing. All right, here we go, first start. Oh, yeah. Is it gonna? Maybe, I think I took the right wire out. Nothing? Push the clutch in. Power. Oh. Doesn't have any power, just. Pardon me. He needed to tight it. Did you swap the fuel tank? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's gonna run? I don't know. We're as gonna find out. The clutch, I did. did you put exhaust on it or is it just straight just, off the. Uh, down pipe? Power. Huh? Don't mess with that. Push the clutch in. He doesn't need to push the clutch in. Oh, shit. Sure. That's fucking... Ooh. Wow. First line 
like a kitten. It purrs like a kitten. What happened? I'm having a whole pressure too, so. Did it die? No, I turned it off. Oh. Oil pressure on the this thing right there, that clamp is not on there, David. Yeah. I think that. I know. What do you think about that? It Troubleshooting sounds... 101. It sounds nice. Doesn't, doesn't start. Hmm? Yeah, it definitely needs tighted right there. Dave. But this thing, this thing's on the tit. I got to, uh, hey, got to get the battery up, charged hey, before. Hey, come over here with the what? Look at this, this fresh interior. Okay. So David cleaned up the interior in here, so it actually looks... Feel those seats. Remember how hard they were? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, the oil. Look at that $800 flashlight you have laying down there on the floor. I know, it's tight, right? It is pretty nice. No, it, the interior definitely looks... Other than these door Looks panels, a lot better, though. Dave, Dave, Dave swore, though, when he first pulled it in here, though. He's like, it isn't going to be a full restoration. It'll just be in and out. All I got to do is drop subframes. I just gotta drop subframes, remember Dave? Well, and then I had to wait for hubs, so might as well do the interior while I was waiting. Wait, is it done? Yeah. Well, I have to put the hood on. Yeah, so anyhow, yeah. I'm gonna pull this thing back. I'm gonna install the corner lights and actually get those things pretty in here. Bye, honeys. Bye, Jamie. Bye. All right, so I got uh, both the corner lights installed. I didn't really have to do much to this side other than put a, a bolt in the top of it. And then on this side, I had to trim the little plastic on the inside of that and then a little bit right here on the tip of the fender so that this thing would actually come up to this. But uh, it doesn't fit in there perfectly yet, but uh, we're still gonna be doing some work on this. I just kinda wanted to get them in there, but uh, definitely looks a lot better. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, like, what is the deal with this car? Why do I need this car? What are, what are the plans? Um, so if uh, if you guys have been following my channel for a little while, basically since the like the Crown Vic Turbo like burnout car, um, I kind of announced that I was planning on doing something, something that I've kind of always wanted to do with the channel, but it wasn't really at like the size that I felt it needed to be in order to support something like this. Um, but yeah, so. You guys know what that means, this, this, this is, this is going to be that car. So the, the plans with it are, this, this is like a 400 horsepower SR, it's basically a stock, I mean it, it, it's stock, you know, pistons, rods, uh, you know, head, all that stuff, it just has rocker arm stoppers in it, um, some 1000cc uh, ID injectors, a Garrett GTX 2867 um, turbocharger, external tile wastegate welded on the factory manifold. It is on AEM version two, has, you know, three bar map sensor, uh, you know, the, the big crazy injectors and it's on E85. So right now it's on like 16 pounds of boost on like 18 or 19 ho on pounds of boost. It made close to 400 horsepower. And this is what I would consider kind of one of those like good SRs. Like if, if you guys have been around in like the drifting community, uh, SRs kind of get a bad rap in, in a certain, you know, they like to pop rocker arms and, and be finicky and, and do random things and sometimes they'll just randomly blow up. Um, this isn't one of those ones. This is like the good one. Um, I mean, it, it's just one of those ones that's like, it just makes power. It, it, it handles abuse. It's been in here, it's been in this car for I think nine, eight or nine years. Uh, so this was my buddy's car. I ended up purchasing it from him. Basically, it was a couple months ago, and kind of the plans initially was, is if you guys remember the S13, I was going to do a quick little build with it, and I was going to do paint and body work with it, and then put this engine in it, and then kind of have this as, you know, like a secret, you know, to be, you know, like a, a project to kind of do like the next one. I kind of wanted to fill it out with the S13. Um, I, I kind of don't have time to do all the paint and body work and stuff on the S13 and you know do kind of like a full build on it on account of this I'm going to be trying to get it painted shortly but this car he just he just had it painted uh, so this is a Nissan 350Z color it's like inner lago something it's like purple and copper and brown and kind of depends on what uh, what color you look at it but it has a full origin body kit so this is the same exact body kit as as my car so like the front bumper uh, the fenders the side skirts and stuff it does have the the different origin rear bumper on it which I really like it has the this is like the race style bumper so it has like the little like fins right there on the back you could see it it kind of it has different over fenders on it as well. I think these might be charge speeds, uh, but basically the over fender comes from right here 
all the way around to the back and then goes right here. So the interior has been kind of gutted on this car. He has kind of a switch panel in, or had a switch panel in here. Uh, it, it's kind of funny because I ended up buying the carpet from this car from him, I don't know, it was probably about a year ago. So I have the carpet that's gonna go back in here. We're gonna put the, the rest of the interior back in it and then pull out the SR. I was hoping to sell this thing. I have, I've had it listed actually for probably about two months listed for sale. I, I was asking like 4,500 um, bucks, you know, which is, is and I haven't had a whole lot interested in it. I've had a couple of people uh, interested in it. I initially listed it closer to five, but I mean the turbo's like eighteen hundred dollars. The ECU's you know fifteen hundred dollars. The injectors are you know like three four hundred bucks. Um, the SR, if you just buy an SR from an importer, they're like three grand or thirty five hundred bucks plus shipping. Has a competition clutch, you know, air motive fuel or air motive uh, fuel pressure regulator tile. Uh, Tile wastegate. I mean, it's got some really, really good parts on it, and it's like I said, it's it's one of those good SRs. It's, it's ran good. It's always ran good, and uh, and yeah. So I would like to sell it and kind of put that towards the budget on the on the 2J swap. Uh, so I, I'm kind of thinking you guys aren't going to like this, but I'm probably going to steal the 2J from the um the the super build. So I, I've had that 2J sitting over there for a while. And it's, you know, it's it's probably just going to get sacrificed. So yeah, here's the 2J. It's been sitting on the kind of the edge of the shop. I had a 1J. Kind of the, the other plan was was to do a 1J S13 uh, with this kind of spare S, this spare 1J that I have. And I could have probably got pretty close with it. Um, it needs a few other little parts, but I just figure I don't want to mess with it. I'd rather just have something that I know is good. I've already ran that 2J. I know it's good. Uh, so I have the R154 out of that Mark III Supra. I already have uh, R154 Jay-Z bell housing. So I'm going to clean up the transmission, uh, clean up the engine, maybe single turbo, and put it in this car and make it like the ultimate street car, essentially like the brother to this thing. So like if this thing had a full interior and an R154, like that's pretty much what this car would be, but like a super baller paint job super clean uh and that's that's kind of the plan so um i feel like i'm, I'm kind of risking a lot here a lot of things are coming together shortly um but yeah hopefully you guys are as uh, as stoked as i am you guys definitely aren't as scared as i am to do it but uh hopefully the plan with that is it's going to generate revenue and then supra is just going to be like you know this is going to be a supra um that's the plans uh, hopefully you guys are on board with that and, uh, and are as stoked about it as me. But also this car in the front, you could see it has extended lower control arms. I believe they're extended like two and a half inches. So it has a lot of camber in the front. The, like I said, the plan is, is this is street car. It doesn't need no crazy drift angle or anything like that. Um, so it is going to get basically stock lower control arms put back on it and stock steering arms and stuff just so it is like a street car. It's, it's well managed for the street, but, uh, but yeah, should be coming together shortly. But yeah, this car also has basically a brand new set of suspension on it. It has HKS Hypermax coilovers, which are like, I think close to two grand just for the coilovers themselves. It has SPL suspension arms, uh, basically all the way around. The plan is, is to install like a limited slip. Basically just kind of, you know, turn it into a street car with a, with a 2J. So let me know what you guys kind of think of, of this whole idea, this whole plan. Let me know if you're stoked. Um, let me know what you think I should do with this SR. I mean, I, I've, I've thought about multiple things I could do with that SR. You know, is either like buying another like Datsun like 510 and swapping it in a Datsun or doing, you know, like a, like an S13 missile car. Or, I mean, put it in like the Integra 240 drift car. I don't know. I'm, I, I need to kind of figure out what I'm doing with building cars. And hopefully if this idea kind of pans out, the plan is, is to kind of keep doing that, not necessarily like all the time but it really gives me a reason to build cars because I mean, it, how many drift cars can you build? How many street cars can you build? Like, w and keep the content kind of flowing. So I feel like it's like the best thing that I could do for my channel is just keep awesome builds flowing. Um, I don't know, it, legal stuff's in the works right now. You guys, uh, you guys will hear about that as soon as, as, soon as I can.
the other thing, the one thing that we did to this car was we did install an Apexi exhaust. Um, when first got it, it had a this basically straight pipe right there, just blast pipe, three inch straight through. So SR with a big exhaust housing turbo sounded is super super loud. If you guys were there for the burnout, which I'll like I did the live stream with the burnout, I'll put that clip here now. So, um, super loud, but now it's really, really mellow. You can hear the turbo. When you're driving this thing around, it just sounds like a jet, so. So guys, let me know what you think of this whole uh, little project that uh, that I got going on here. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see the the SR stay in there or swap it over to a 2J. The the kind of you know the whole reasoning behind that was just you know the whole brother street car to this, and that way I'm actually like doing work to the car, and it's just not just a car that randomly shows up. Um, but yeah, I definitely you know like to have like my build and taste and all that other stuff like put into it as well as uh, you know kinda doing a little restore it to, it was on its way to, to becoming a drift car and, and I saved it but uh, yeah so all the interior and stuff will go back in I have a lot of stuff for it already well actually that came out of it that, that he saved but uh, yeah I will need to purchase a few little things here and there but uh, yeah hopefully you guys are stoked uh, to see this thing around for a little while but uh, that's gonna be it for this video uh, David's got that thing almost done over there, so, but, uh, yeah, catch you guys later.